Oh, I was telling the vlog before um, I picked you guys up, I said, something needs to happen today so I can clickbait like this. Oh! Um, I have to get ready because we are going to play golf today with uh, the people you saw in uh, the other vlog that I just posted not too long ago. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're playing golf. I need to get ready. I would do another one of those transitions, but you know, that would be dumb. I gotta get ready, load up my clubs, then we're gonna go pick up um, golfer number one, and then we're gonna head over to pick up golfer number two. We're gonna go get breakfast, and then we're gonna head to the course. We're gonna play around today. All right, here we go. We are getting ready. And just like that, we are ready for some golf, everybody. We're ready. I'm dressed. We're ready. I'm sure everyone else is almost ready. Um, all I gotta do is load my clubs, go get Jeff, go get Shell, go get breakfast, head to the course. One, two, three, four. Alright, clubs are loaded, if you can even see them, and we are headed off to pick up contestant number one. Well, we're here already. Hey. Look that kid. Alright, Jeff. Post. Pre-game. Pre-game. What's it called? Pre-game interview. Pre-game interview. I'm hoping to shoot under 100. I want to shoot a 92. But I don't know how possible that's going to be today. I'm looking to shoot at least a 30, 31 on the first nine. Oh no, I'll be lucky if I shoot under 100 on the front. I'll be honest. Birdie out. He's got fuzzy dice in his truck. Is he up? What are we doing? I've never seen one wood before. <laughs> well, are you going to use these clubs to your advantage today, Jeffrey? Probably not. They're blades. I shoes because I changed my mind beforehand. We're going golfing. Are we going golfing, guys? We're going golfing. Yeah. I think we are. <laughs> we just got snack. Good breakfast. A good breakfast. Breakfast. We got a good breakfast from oh, Quick Trip. Go. There's no one coming that oh, way. He's got to go. Oh, I was telling the vlog before um, I picked you guys up. I said something needs to happen today so I can clickbait. Like, Jeff, something needs to happen today so we can clickbait it, guys. Right in my <laughs> I was thinking night. that. All right, y'all. Here goes Shell and Jeff loading up the clubs. There's Jeff, right there. Well, we're gonna uh, getting my coffee because that's a necessity. I loaded up on everything before. I brought like thirty keys. You got keys? Okay. Yeah, I brought them. I just brought more. Loading all my crap, throwing it in here for you to reckon what I'm cooking. Here we go, off to the driving range to practice before our tea time, because we're early. Thanks for your help, Tyler. Hitch Gibbon. All right, Jeff, post driving range, how do you feel about this? These irons are so bad. It's not gonna be a good day, I can guarantee you. I think that. it's gonna be a great freaking day. Dad and his grandson, look at him. Yeah, so we got some old fellers on our tail. We are, oh, uh, he's oh, he's stretching. Uh, they asked us to play through. We said go ahead. Give us a reason to not feel bad when we start sucking really bad. Alright Jeff, here we go. Second, third hole interview. Um, I hate these clubs. I've actually only hit my clubs so far because I would do anything to not hit the other irons. But Shell is all the way over there. I don't know yeah, if you guys Yeah, we gave know. up. I gave up on that hole pretty quick. Uh, also, if you can tell we gave up on that hole, we spent a probably like total of what, minute and a half getting that shot? Something like that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It was well, maybe a minute. Now we sit and wait for, for Shell as he walks by. See, they're almost... There comes a Marshall. That would be funny though. Here's Shell. Part of the last two. Hey guys, how you doing? 
They probably got some at the clubhouse, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Part so of the gonna, last two. We're gonna let these sellers over here play through. You know who I'm at they 10, are. I'm at 10, 18, I'm at 22 through 4, 8, 12, 16. All right, y'all. Here goes nothing. Wish us luck. Well, y'all, that was a hitch gibbet right there. Um, it was my first one I've lost. If you can tell, not a single drive. I almost hit ya. Here, watch this time. Here. This club, goddamn, I'm killing myself on this hole. Although the guys behind us just completely laughed <laughs> at us, I don't think. Where'd that ball go? I don't even want it. I just want to know where it went. You know, although the guys laughed at us back there, there's Shelly Bean Token up there on the box. Watch this. Where are you going, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> right. Have you seen those things where like people find snakes in these? It was 160 yards. And that's a driver. And there's Shell coming in. Six. Here we are after a lunch, hot dog, fries, payday, and a Mr. Pib later. We are now on the back nine. Jeff just chipped it into the trees. Um, I've there. lost a total of eight balls, and How do you actually? I'm damn near close. Did you see that? That was Shelly Be Good on the tee box, y'all. Shelly Be Good. Is that right into the fucking ditch? There's Jeffrey Jones devouring those French fries. How are they? French fries. Phenomenal. Nephenomenal? Fry nominal. Fry nominal. Yep, I lost it. I'm not gonna front y'all. This has been a rough day on the course. I mean, it's usually a rough day, but like, it's been a rough. Got a couple good holes, usually hitting double par. That's what we're playing, we're playing double par. Enjoy your time on the ground. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Cross the cart path, that's all that matters. I got a huge blister going on. I don't know what the hell the problem is. Jeff, you are a terrible driver, you know this? Hole number 13. I wonder what that shot looked like. Oh my god. He, he like launched the cart. It's kind of heavy. How do you walk around this all day? It's not that bad. Uh, it's not terrible. But see, if, you, if you're using a T6i... I'm getting a T8i. A T8i, it's way lighter. Ready, watch this transition. <laughs> and we're back at the nice hole. <laughs> Where's the T-Box? Go in 70. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Alright, here we are on hole 15, par 3. We're about 154 yards to the pin. Looks like we got a rough windy day out here. We got Rory McElroy as my caddy. Thanks, Bill. What'd you get? Well, let me guess, a three? Seven. Bullshit. Yeah, give it. It turns on first. So basically, this course fucking sucks. And I'm never touching it again. I agree. <laughs> Same reason why we'll be the first ones to get kicked out, too. Will you go grab my club then? Where is it? First. On the green? Count on Shell to be the first loser club. Ow, that's you are a terrible driver. I'm pretty decent if you ask me. We haven't crashed, have we? The title of this vlog is going to be Jeffrey Nearly Killed Us. <laughs> Go. Shelly Oh, no. Is that him up? That's not him. He's not in orange. Where's that? Oh, he's all the way back there taking a. <laughs> Imagine the golf club gets. Oh! Oh! Hey. Okay? Are you okay? Ow. Are you okay? Yeah. Jump out of it. Jump out of it. Go! <laughs> no, come here! Uh, you okay? No. Damn. Okay, so it's been roughly nine hours since the last clip you saw, which was the cart tipping over. So, to explain what happened in more better detail, uh, Mason, if you had heard in the video, asked Jeffrey and I to go back and get his club on the other hole that he left on the green. That's a typical Shell thing to do. And we went to get the club, and on our way back, we did not know where Shell went. Shell was nowhere to be seen. We, ch I mean, you couldn't see him. 
So we go around the cart path and I look behind me and I see he's down behind, there was a hill, he was down there peeing. Well, when I said, oh, I found Shell, he's back there, Jeff whipped the cart around at a faster speed than reckonable, and that is when he spun and flipped. Now, what happened was, is when we flipped, and this, this is best case scenario, guys. I mean, of course, this not happening at all would be great, but best case scenario, my leg, uh, my foot, rather, got caught under when it flipped, uh, my foot, it got pinned between the concrete and the top of the golf cart. So like, let's say this is the golf cart, right? This is the concrete. The golf cart, this is the top of the golf cart. The golf cart flipped over onto the concrete. My foot got pinned between the concrete and the top of the um, golf cart. So my foot was pinned against concrete and plastic with a metal frame. So Luckily, I did not try to dive out of the golf cart. That could have been either my neck, which would have probably killed me, or it, it, it could have been way worse. It could have, it could have done much worse. It could have done my neck, could have cracked, it, it just, it could have done a lot worse. Could have hit my head on the concrete. Luckily, I kind of crawled in a, into like a little, curled in, luckily, and only my foot was caught. Now, what I think happened on my other foot is there's a circle bruise on, uh, right below my toe and a big like, abrasion line and I think what happened was when I landed I landed on a golf ball and then my foot slid across the golf ball so I think that's what that was um, other than that we are now a cane and a boot uh, believe it or not the x-rays if you guys uh, here's some pictures of my foot uh, as you can see it was it, there was like a knot it was it was it's weird there was like a cyst on top of my foot pretty much and there still is um, I definitely saw something was broke we went to the doctor today, obviously. Uh, we were lucky I got a, an appointment. And the they took x-rays, and when he looked at the x-rays, everything was completely normal. There was nothing out of place. He didn't notice a fracture. Nothing was broken except my foot. And then you could see the little hump uh, on my foot. And uh, he thinks that the main reason it's that big and bulbous is because of how hard I hit it. It just, I guess that's just what happened. I'm in this boot for three weeks. Um, and then I go back, and then we're going to see, he's going to double check and make sure nothing's fractured or broken. And he said one of the big things right now is since there's no bruising, that means there was, it didn't bleed at all in there. There was no, it, usually if it breaks, there's internal bleeding, which gets to the soft tissue, causes a bruise, whatever, right? Um, there was no bruise at all. So, yeah, uh, that's that. The thing that kind of sucks right now is that in this boot, I have a awards gala. I, d I recorded this earlier this morning, but that I have an awards gala uh, on f Saturday that I'll have to wear this too. I'm hoping that it might be good enough to where I can wear my shoes because I got my shoes and my belt coming. I got my shoes, but I ordered a belt to match the shoes and the suit. So hopefully I can just go with no boot and use the cane for stability. We'll see. D depending on how it feels Friday or Saturday, I hopefully can just go cane and no boot. But if I have to wear the boot over the suit, I will. I could still wear the other shoe. Uh, I do have work tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Today's Monday and I'm, I'm filming this. I'm still editing the video. I've got the full cut together. I just need to add some sound and some different specialty stuff I'm going to add. Um, and then I've got some dance recitals that Mason and I, he and him, him and I have some dance recitals coming up in June. We have two. We have one on the 2nd and the 3rd, and then we have one the next weekend on the 9th and the 10th. So I'll be wearing this boot and a cane for those, which sucks too, but uh, we're just going to struggle through them all. I mean, it's really not that bad. It's just uh, more of a nuisance than anything. And don't think this is going to stop videos. We have a vlog uh, planned for for Wednesday. We have um, a bunch of friends. It should be me, maybe Jeffrey, the, the kid that killed me practically. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. And uh, some other friends. We're all going to go um, do something cool, and you'll see that. It's not cool. It's just, well, why not film it? Um, yes, you'll see that video. Um, and yeah, you'll still see videos, and I, and luckily it was my left foot, not my driving foot, so I can still drive, uh, thank God, because if not, we wouldn't be able to do, definitely wouldn't be able to do anything, but I do have work on top of all this, so I will be working still. Jeffrey, I mean, he apologized many times. I'm not worried about it. I, in this instance, it was not, oh, I gotta get to this too, I forgot to talk about. In this instance, he was, this is the one time where we weren't messing around. I will say, I mean, whatever, we were messing around. But in this instance, he was literally just trying to turn around to go to Mason, and he just took it too fast. 
one thing that I'm not going to name the golf course because, I mean, I don't know if it says it in the video. I think it says it in the video somewhere. I don't really know and I don't really care. Um, one of the things that really upset me was, and, you know, people are going to have their own opinions on this. Uh, one of the things that uh, upset me was when this whole thing happened. Um, right as soon as it happened, Jeffrey uh, looked up and there was a, a gray Ford coming our way. And he knew, he was like, here, hurry up, help me flip this, you know, so it doesn't look bad. They come up, and of course, you know, we were all shaken up, all shook up, if you know what I mean. And uh, they happened to be very rude. Now, listen, I completely understand where they're coming from. You had two teenagers, I mean, it was I was, I was in the cart, obviously, but the cart was flipped. They were semi-new. I mean, they were newer electric golf carts, so um, they were newer carts, right? That was flipped. I would be upset, too. I understand where they're upset. I completely understand. Jeffrey profusely apologized. They did not care, but continued to cuss us out. Uh, I would say, I wouldn't say they cussed us out like it was an argument, but they were calling us um, some, some names that you just, for a business... He told us to get our ASSs back to the clubhouse and get the F off the golf course or something like that. I don't know. So I'll, whatever. Something along those lines. There was plenty of cussing done. And, um, and you know, I told Jeff, I said, you know, and maybe whatever, we could have we could have said something back. But I, I understand where they're upset. I understand why they're upset. Um, you know, we flipped a golf cart, a newer one at that. It's fine. It's good. Um... I'm in a boot, I'm walking, and I'm still having fun. So whatever happens, I don't really care. It's all good. So I'm going to hobble on out of here. Y'all have a great one. This was one hell of a vlog. I mean, I even said at the start of the summer that I want to I shoot vlogs and I want to have fun content. So far, we have flown a drone in a theater. Not so cool. And flipped a golf cart on, in a golf course. Not so cool, but pretty entertaining. Uh, I'll be filming some Wednesday, and I'll probably have it edited and uploaded on Thursday. So we'll see you today. So... You'll probably see this on Tuesday, Monday night, Tuesday, and you'll probably see the next one Wednesday night or Thursday. So, see everybody. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to go shower, sit down on the couch, raise this foot up, and I'll see you on the course in three weeks. All right. We'll see you later, everybody. Bye. Oh! Hey.